During the Harlem Renaissance, music, dancing, and other forms of entertainment emerged as one of the most remarkable aspects of the time period. Among the many talented entertainers was a woman named Florence Mills, an African-American singer and dancer who was also referred to by many as the Queen of Happiness and the Queen of Jazz. Born in 1896 in Washington, D.C. to former slaves, Florence and her two older sisters established a singing and dancing group, the Mills Sisters, and they performed at theaters in Harlem to raise money for their parents. Florence was already an impressive performer by the age of seven. As Mills developed as a performer, she became accustomed to a type of entertainment known as vaudeville, which was popular primarily in the 1920s and incorporated comedy, song, and dance. She was only one of few vaudeville entertainers to become so successful and known worldwide. 1921 was a very significant year for Florence Mills. She starred in the hit musical comedy Shuffle Along, which consisted of an all-black cast and was the first successful musical of the kind in over a decade. Because of her leading role, this is considered by historians to be one of the most triumphant performances of the Harlem Renaissance. As a black woman participating in public shows, Mills faced both sexism and racism, but was able to overcome them with her confidence and poise. Mills continued to be successful in Harlem and contributed to a number of other performances. One of them was Dixie to Broadway in 1924, the first African-American musical comedy to play on a Broadway stage. It was not long before her prestige spread to Europe where she performed in Dover Street to Dixie and Blackbirds. Blackbirds was special because it expressed the perseverance of blacks, especially women, to be accepted in society. These performances, both in the USA and abroad, were very influential because they represented the previously overlooked potential of African American women and their race as a whole. Music during the Harlem Renaissance enhanced the reputation of African Americans and allowed them to finally emerge in society. Florence Mills used her performances to break the demeaning stereotype of her race and gender. She was an admirable woman because of her individuality and confidence. When she was singing and dancing, her cultural inferiority was non-existent. These characteristics paved the way for aspiring female African-American singers and dancers. Unfortunately, Florence Mills died in 1927 at age 32 due to complications during a surgery. However, the fact that she achieved so much in such a short time is very remarkable. There are no recordings of her singing or dancing today, but she continues to be one of the many faces of the Harlem Renaissance.